Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. This week on Orphan Black, it is all about blowing shit up. Mrs. S and Sarah divide and conquer. Vic the Dick gets molested by elves. No, not really. But seriously, we do get to see some awesome Sarah acting as other clones. And we get to meet Michelle Forbes' character. She's playing Marion, Rachel's boss at the Dyad. But real quick, if you're finding me for the first time, I try to do Orphan Black videos every week. Be sure to subscribe to get everything. I missed a couple of episodes, but I will have a link to my master playlist down in the description. So let's talk about how crazy things are getting. Careful for spoilers if you haven't seen the episode yet, but I'm gonna do my top five moments and then my review. So number five, Vic the Dick gets molested by elves. We need a book of Felix quotes. I think of him as like the punch up guy. Like when Allison and Sarah just get way too heavy, he just pokes his head into frame and says something crazy. Vic was totally a dick though. He deserved everything that happened to him. The whole Vic Sarah shitstorm wasn't quite as funny as I expected it to be, mostly painfully awkward. I was surprised to find out though that the police officer he was talking to was the same one that tried to get info out of Allison in the parking lot a couple of episodes ago. It is so funny just watching Allison try to deal with dumping bodies like Vic's. Number four, Sarah pretends to be Allison. I always love watching Tatiana Maslany do clones acting as other clones. I don't know why she hasn't won an Emmy for it yet. It is criminal. The minute she started dropping monitor bombs during their role playing session, I kind of knew Donnie was going to figure things out. To be fair, Allison had to spell it out for him, but we finally get a peek inside Donnie's head and it is glorious. Before that scene, I actually kind of expected him to turn out to be just a regular monitor, just kind of in with the dyad, but turns out he was co-opted in college to just be part of a social experiment. That kind of explains why he's so terrible at the spy stuff. All it really means is, is that there's a good chance he could wind up switching sides, so to speak, and helping Clone Club before the end of the season. He's like the lovable goofball of the show, which is why that final scene was so shocking. Number three, Rachel confronts Dr. Leakey. Mrs. S and Sarah blow shit up. As expected, it totally works. There was the added twist of Rachel's boss, Michelle Forbes, siding with her over Leakey, or just asking her to get rid of Leakey. There are going to be a lot of repercussions from this that we did not see in this episode. Like think about the side projects that Leaky was working on, like that artificial womb. I think that that was just the tip of the iceberg. I'm hoping they uncover more of his secret research later this season. There is so much going on inside the dyad right now. It's like King's Landing in Game of Thrones. Everyone is a liar. I think it was really interesting that Rachel defied Marion's wishes and let Leaky go. It kind of suggests that she might do something to help the clones against Marion's wishes before the finale. Michelle Forbes did a recent interview about her new character, this Marion character, and she said that she's in the last two episodes of this season and she just gets progressively weirder. Forbes went on to say that she's the kind of person who's so powerful it doesn't even occur to her that subordinates like Rachel would defy her. I'm actually expecting Marion to kind of rise to the top as the ultimate antagonist from within the dyad this season, so don't be surprised if Rachel kind of becomes a stealth clone club member. Number two, Delphine uses Kira's stem cells to heal Cosima. This is one of the few major violations in the episode. In case you're confused, Leaky and Delphine harvested Kira's stem cells from a tooth she lost a long time ago. It's really small, so there's not a lot of genetic material. They went on to start using those stem cells to treat Cosima without her knowledge. So they totally worked. So Kira's stem cells are the answer to this problem, but it raises a whole lot of moral red flags. Cosima is totally right to flip out. Delphine actually seemed like a bit of a mad scientist during their shouting match. Like she couldn't understand what she was doing was wrong. But in the end, they still need more stem cells if they're going to help Cosima. We even saw in the teaser for the next episode, she's spitting up blood. So it's getting really, really bad. It kind of seems like as we get closer to the finale, events are conspiring to bring everyone back together in the same location. Sarah's coming back with Kira and Donnie and Allison are starting to discuss the dyad experiments. So obviously they're being pulled back too. I just can't wait to see Michelle Forbes' character just sitting over all of them, just working the strings, just to see what her ultimate plan is. And my number one WTF moment, Donnie kills Dr. Leakey. I just love how casually the scene started out. Leakey does not even care to give Donnie the time of day. He's like a speck of dust in the grand design. But all it takes is one random encounter to blow everything up. Obviously in this case, literally blow up Leakey's head. It is totally confirmed, unless there's a leaky clone floating around somewhere, he's gone for good. But his influence will still inform some of the really important plot points. The artificial womb he was talking about, that's probably going to have something to do with Cosima getting better. Remember, that camera footage from earlier in the episode, whenever they were operating on Cosima, that was from inside her womb. 
She's obviously full of cancer, and that's what the stem cells are treating, but I'm really interested to see if Cosima and Delphine hijack Leaky's secret projects to help solve the problem, or at least speed things along. But now it's your turn. Let me know in the comments below. What was your favorite moment? Was it Donnie killing Leaky? Was it Michelle Forbes' character seeing her for the first time? Or was it Vic the Dick getting molested by elves? Overall, I gave the episode a B plus. As complex as the show already is, I feel like they're doing a great job of escalating everything. I was kind of bummed we didn't get to see Helena this week, but I don't expect them to be able to fit everyone into every episode. There's a ton of characters. Leaky as a character is irreplaceable, but I think they're replacing him with the smoking man, so to speak. Just to explain, right now I think of Michelle Forbes' character as being like the smoking man from X-Files, controlling everything from a distance and ruthlessly dedicated to this really ominous plan. Michelle Forbes is pretty clearly a neo illusionist so her plan is to patent humans at some point, as opposed to the Proletheans, they just want to homogenize the entire world. One of my favorite things about the show, and something that this episode does really well is send characters off in a really epic way. Like the producers say, we're gonna kill you off, but it's gonna be amazing. Dr. Leakey, please rest in peace. You will be missed by no one. Donnie sounds like he's gonna be in the run in the next episode, but I think he's gonna end up turning to Clone Club for help. I'm very hopeful for his character. The only alternative is for the Dyad or Helena to hunt him down. The things that I'm really interested in learning more about right now, though, are Michelle Forbes' character. She's still very smoking man, very mysterious. Learning what happens whenever Sarah surrenders herself and Kira to the Dyad, and learning what Rachel is going to do with Duncan. He's like her father, and she just found out that he's still alive. So, my next Orphan Black video will post next week after episode 8 airs. Be sure to subscribe to get it. If you have any other questions about the episode that I missed last week, episode 6, just write them down in the comments below. Right now, click here for all my Orphan Black videos and click here for my Maleficent review. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow for Fire and Blood. High fives.